So, uh, hello, good morning. Um, my name is Beatriz Royo, and today I'm presenting a study about urban mobility and more specifically about how defining or speeding up the process of defining uh, policies when introducing new uh, mobility solutions. So this is the agenda that I'm going to, to follow today. So what is the context of this study or the um, motivation? So I'm going to speak about urban mobility and how um, the increase of the population is affecting the traffic flows in the cities and this is creating uh, negative consequences. So um, the greenhouse gas emissions are, is increasing. The air pollution is increasing. The space occupied um, in the cities is mostly by uh, diesel cars. So on the left, we have how the mobility is and was, and in the center, we have how we envision the future. So um, we think that the future will be more active, will be more eco-friendly with electric vehicles and based on sharing economy. But what is the reality? So the reality is how um, we see in the image on the left. And while all of this happens, so, um, well, as you can see in the image below in the technology fallacy from 2019, the technology is moving much faster than the definition of the policies. So um, with the Sprout project, okay, that is the framework of this study, we aim to bridge um, this gap. And for doing this, what uh, we are defining is an evaluation framework that helps to understand how um, the policies affect the adoption of um, different policies uh, when uh, adopting these mobility solutions. The evaluation framework is based on existing uh, tools, methodologies, and, and, and frameworks. So here we can see uh, what we have defined as the Sprout Evaluation Framework. So it's a methodological pipeline that consists of three steps and a preparatory step of step zero. That I'm going to explain all of them now with more detailed information. So here we have the step zero, that is the preparatory step, and it's based on the FESTA methodology. And this is a, a good methodology when we are introducing a field operational test. So in the city that want to introduce a new digital mobility solution are going to implement a pilot. And here, the first step is to define what is going to be the implementation plan, the context of the city or the part of the city where this digital mobility solution is going to be introduced, the problems that it aims to solve and how we are going to measure them the stakeholders that are going to participate, and so forth. So um, once we have uh, this, then we pass to the second step. So in the second step is when the pilots start with the implementation of uh, the mobility solution and with the data collection and the analysis of the preliminary results or indicators for uh, measuring the impact of this mobility solution in the cities, we have defined or considered indicators divided in three dimensions. The first one is the financial uh, sustainability from the operator's point of view. The second one is the sustainability assessment from the city's perspective. And here we are comparing the situation before introducing the digital mobility solution and after introducing the digital mobility solution. Um, the assessment of the social and environmental impacts is being considered or measured using the handbook of the European Commission. And finally, we are measuring the operational feasibility based on the ISO of the product quality model and quality in use model. With the information um, analyzed from these indicators and the experiences, the cities and the stakeholders participating in these cities will identify the policies 
that can be removed, that can be added, or that can be um, modified. And then, well, something that is worth to mention before, before starting the step two is that the handbook doesn't cover some of the default values for the new vehicles, and we have to make a in-test desktop research. Okay, so once we have the first step, uh, we have to start with the second step. So the input will be the list of policy responses that have been identified in the preliminary step. And the objective of this step is to um, categorize or um, prioritize the ones that are more relevant for all the stakeholders that are participating or are uh, relevant in the pilot. So um, for doing this, we have considered the multi-actor, multi-criteria analysis from uh, Macaris. And uh, we are following this, this, this seven step. The first steps come from the previous uh, methodical pipeline step. And here it's very important that the stakeholders that are relevant participate in, in this um, MAMC assessment. Um, the result of this uh, analysis will be the prioritized list of policy responses. Then we will start the third or final step. And here, the stakeholders and, we, and users will evaluate the impact or, um, of these um, policies in terms of feasibility and users' acceptance. So for the feasibility, we are considering these uh, four criteria and for the user acceptance, we are going to consider the um, criteria that you can see here. So we will ask the stakeholders and the users to respond a specific questionnaires based on five liquor scale. And with the, depending on the results, we will see if there is some disalignment and we need to uh, further analyze in order to try to create the robust city-led policy response that will be the result of this methodological pipeline. This Sprout methodology uh, is being tested in the Sprout pilot. So here we have five pilots. The first one is in the city of Valencia in Spain and is introducing a public uh, private uh, mobile hub um, with a solution from freight and passengers. We have uh, cyclo parts in metro stations and parcel lockers also in metro stations. In Cali's uh, Poland, they are uh, introducing internet of things and a mobile application in order to support drivers in managing, loading and unloading operations. In Budapest, they are uh, installing micromobility parkings and they are trying to see how they can improve the space allocation of the cities. In Padua, they are introducing autonomous vehicles uh, for both uh, freight and passengers. And finally, we have Pilot 5 that is Israel and is using data for improving decision making and also for uh, resolving uh, conflicts between the different stakeholders and for increasing the inclusivity of vulnerable road users. So the conclusions of this study. So we have defined a new pipeline to speed up the definition of policies when introducing new digital mobility solutions. This is easy to use because it's based on existing uh, methodologies and frameworks. And finally, something that is important to mention is the lack of uh, default values for the new uh, vehicles and digital mobility solutions. So this is all from my side um, and thank you for your attention.